For all who comes to this goofy place, welcome. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of The Goofy Scoop, my podcast, Kylie Barber. I'm here with my <laughs> guests today, Jeff what? and Gray. What? Thanks for joining me, guys. Please talk to <laughs> I, me about I this. don't think that's how it goes, but I'm so glad to be here. Thanks for inviting us. Of course, I like how, yeah. I like, I like how before... I like how before the actual intro that worked, there was like five or six other attempts where she's like, I'm, I'm nervous. And then she goes from I'm nervous to this is my podcast. <laughs> Welcome, Gray and Jeff, to another episode. <laughs> I mean, well, you, you wanted a show. I'm putting on a show. Well, hey, a good show. Good show. Honestly, honestly, Jeff and I are super excited to be here today. Um, what are we talking about? What, why are we here? Well... On my last episode of my podcast, Kylie Barber, the Goofy Scoop podcast, um, we talked about the differences between Disneyland and Disney World and which one is better. I prefer Disneyland, obviously, um, because it's better. But you guys tend to think that Disney World is somehow superior. So we're just here to debunk that even more debunk that debunk even more it. we'll see we'll see because kylie what you don't know is i brought my hot tea right here okay got my hot tea i'm ready to spill it i'm not surprised so i'll be ready for that yeah okay let's go let's jump right into it <laughs> all say, right so here's part two part two following part one because that's usually how it works with numerical order yeah, if you haven't seen or listened to part one yet, you should because it's fantastic and it's all about how Kylie is wrong. <laughs> yeah, okay, we'll go with that. You just <laughs> all right. So it looks like we made a small list too. That way, we just didn't get a little get bit a little bit confused about part one and talk about things multiple times. Gray, you it looks like you wanted to start with Jungle Cruise, right? Um, I I just like wrote some stuff down that we didn't talk about last time, but I can. Start with it, whatever you want to. But since this is Kylie's podcast, I just want to, you know, let her, running, so, let her jump with, into it. Are we giving her complete cruise. power in part two right now? Com- complete power. We just want to see what happens. Big it's like mistake, a game. Big mistake, guys. Okay, here we go. Jungle Cruise. <laughs> and the fun thing about this is I have a cool historical fact to prove why Jungle Cruise in Disneyland is better. And here it is. We all know that Disneyland is the OG, therefore it's just automatically better. But Jungle Cruise, when it was being built, um, they were looking for trees to fill in that space because it obviously has to look like a jungle. And at the time that Disneyland was getting built, they were putting the interstate in right next to it. And so they were removing a bunch of orange trees from that area. And Walt took them and planted them upside down in the Jungle Cruise to look like exotic trees. So I think that's an automatic win for Disneyland's Jungle Cruise. How cool is that? Like, that's the coolest backstory to a ride ever. It's a cool backstory, but that doesn't mean that I automatically win. Well, I mean, I don't know. This one, honestly, I really enjoy both Jungle Cruises. I just think that it's an opening day ride at Disneyland. So that makes it kind of cool and kind of special. It is cool that it is an opening ride. Yeah. But just refresh yeah. my memory, though, because I haven't been to Disneyland in the longest out of us three. Um, in the last episode I mentioned, is like 10 years ago. But w- is there a specific difference? Is there like big differences or is it kind of relatively around the same idea, the same ride? It's it's pretty much exactly the same, except in the Disney World one, you know how there's like the temple area at the end where you go indoors and there's like mm-hmm. a tiger and all that. That's not in the Disneyland one. It's like a little bit of a different ending, but everything else is pretty much identical, I would say. What What's the ending at at Disneyland? It's just like more animals, like the elephant bath and that kind of stuff. Like it's, I I think that's the only difference. They have a backside of water? They do the backside of water. It's it's like literally. They they definitely do the backside of water. Um, I... uh just have to tell you the story about what happened when i did jungle cruise um because 
I was on there. And we are very excited to do Jungle Cruise. Everyone knows with us. Um, AJ, you guys both know him. He's been on the podcast before. So he was with me. And we got on the Jungle Cruise. We were very excited. And our skipper was trash. Mm. Like, she was awful. She was just like, Hello, welcome to the world famous Jungle Cruise. <laughs> oh, look. It's eighth one of the world, the backs wide water. Woo. And then, the, woo, yeah, and then woo. Oh, Add woo. there are the elephants over there. <laughs> They're so funny. You can take as many pictures as you want because they have their trunks on. But, like, it was like, it was very like, oh, this is so boring. And I just, like, I was like, can I, I'm sorry, can I just take them? Like, can I just do this, your job for you? I know I'm not like trained, but like, I've done this before. I've like seen I it think, before. Can I just do it? Like, that's yeah, what but I, I, want. I think if she was monotoned like that, though, like, I think monotone and just like uninterested sells that trunk joke a lot better okay but like it's like just, yeah take the pictures they have their trunks on he's saying in general the skipper <laughs> matters yeah and the, I, oh 100 I, I think either like especially since the rides are so similar and i do personally think like the temple thing in disney world is weird like i'll give this one to disneyland but like the um <laughs> first point for kylie um Ooh, the whole <laughs> As Kylie fist bumps, or not yeah. fist bumps, but fist pumps. There we go. Um, but I just think like it really depends on who your skipper is. Like, if you have a great skipper, then either place you're gonna have a great time. If you have a terrible skipper, then either place it's not gonna be as good. That's true. Okay, I agree. We we can be cordial with this one. Love to hear it. it. You know, it's it's okay. They're they're somewhat balanced. Love to hear it. Amazing. <laughs> well. I don't have any more arguments for that one. So <laughs> no, I, I, was kidding, I was like, I was like, on. man, we are being pretty cool say, right now. Like, <laughs> well, Kylie's to... Kylie's running this, so I was waiting on her to switch topics. You're right. You're right. I'm sorry. Um, so let's just jump into the next one, which is one of the best rides ever created. And wow, it exists in Disneyland. What that's it, I mean, it makes sense. And that is the Incredicoaster, which um they just rethemed when they made Pixar Pier but that ride is so sick like first of all the incredibles are amazing second of all it's a fun roller coaster that goes upside down third right in the middle of the ride you get a big whiff of jack jack num num cookies like are you kidding me that's the coolest thing ever um and i just feel like disney world doesn't have something that compares to that so gray jeff um <laughs> <laughs> Kylie's just like look at all the points that we have but like Disney World totally won in the last episode so it's fine um I and don't worry we have more on the list but um I will say in credit coaster is really fun um you get to go upside down one time it was like Woo. yeah it's for the loop right um yeah, yeah. it's the loop, the loop but right like, yeah. I, it's very cool it's a really good view of um yeah. like California adventure like it's a good and it's I think it's a really good location also the wait time is usually very low oh yeah and that's always really? great when I went we yeah. we walked on twice in a row and I think we might have done it a third time like it was very like why why is it so on what you think though I think it depends on the time of the day too because the, I've I've been and there's been times where it is um a lot longer but I don't know I think the location is good, but also it's tucked away a little more in the park, like it's in the back. And so you have to like make it a point that you're going to that ride. I think you don't just like come across it unless you're that's true. Up here. That's true. So um, I do remember it being kind of tucked away in the corner. Mm -hmm. I think also the look, like the way they load is really good. Like they have two trains i guess is what they're called whatever yeah. um and you like then they like merge to go on the coaster so as this one is emptying this one is loaded like what like there's always one moving they just alternate so, okay yeah so the line is like always going you're not like because most of the rides at disney world you like wait for the next one and then you get on mm -hmm. and you wait for the next one um and so i think that ride specifically has a really good like transfer time yeah. on and off and before it was Incredicoaster, what was the theme of it? Because that's when I wrote it. I never wrote it as the Incredicoaster. It was called California Screamin'. It was, right. just, it was just like boardwalk themed, you know, kind of had like fun music playing, which I really miss California Screamin'. Like the soundtrack was awesome. But I think that the retheming for this one was one that I was okay with. Like it's, it's really fun now. And I, I really like the Incredibles. It was right after they did Incredibles 2 and stuff. And so it was like, you know, kind of on the rise again. Um, 
Oh, and I can't forget the takeoff at the beginning. That's awesome. It's like a rock. Three, two, one, go! The yeah. launch, yeah. Dash like <laughs> yo's five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> yeah. Just like that. <laughs> so, yeah, just like that. But the weird part is like it's like five, four, three, two, one, go. And then you're like you have like half a second, and then the coaster shoots off. <laughs> like it's like it's just timing very, a little just off. Like yeah, but I mean it's it's fine. <laughs> Last comment on that that was really cool that I liked. Um, I was there this past summer, summer of 21, <laughs> and they had some characters out because it was like towards the end of COVID. They were like had some that you couldn't get close to, but they were just lingering, you know, and they had them right next to the takeoff for the ride. And so when you came around the corner, sometimes there'd be like Edna Mode standing there waving at you as you're taking off on the ride. It was so cute. It That's made pretty it cool. So much better. Um, and then you the only thing that like kind of confuses me is I feel like you don't ever actually catch Jack Jack like that's the whole like thing of the ride is that you're trying to catch Jack Jack but I feel like you don't actually catch him in the end he's no. just giant eating a cookie with Edna Mode so technically you did catch him because he's contained in a house <laughs> like True. the end scene is him like sitting in a in a house but he's yeah like, but like is he contained True. Like but he just teleports, like it's Jack Jack. No, you know, he's not, like, he's not know. actually. <laughs> yeah, also, the other thing I love about that ride is, um, when so it was me and like three other guys that went and we wrote it twice, but there were two pictures. And the first picture was the whole when I like got on the ride, I was like having fun, so I was smiling the whole time, but also I was like, there's got to be a camera on this ride somewhere, but I don't yeah. know where it is. So I was just like, ha ha, like smiling the entire time. And the other guys looked so like they looked terrible <laughs> in the photo. <laughs> I'm just like, Grace, like I look amazing. Sorry like, yeah, about it. <laughs> that's the greatest, like, wind blown hair <laughs> is fantastic. It's fr- it's framed in Gray's room right now. <laughs> it's true. It's on the wall. No. <laughs> oh, okay. So I'm glad that we all agree that the Incredicoaster is amazing. Another point yep. for Disneyland. Yeah. Moving on. <laughs> um, actually, this is a good transition. I wanted to talk about the area of Pixar Pier in general. Which is where Incredicoaster is located. Yep. Yeah. They just, they rethemed that also from Paradise to Pier to Pixar Pier. And so it has um, like a new carousel that's themed after Jesse from Toy Story. They have um, an inside out ride now. It's called Emotional Whirlwind and it's just like a little kid ride. It's okay. But I feel like it's really comparable. Ray's throwing thumbs down. (laughs) I don't want to hear it. (laughs) We'll get to it. Don't worry. I feel like it's really comparable to Dino Land in um, Animal Kingdom in Disney World. Just, you know, like the little games you can play. There's some little kitty rides there. I feel like we could we could talk about those because I think Pixar Pier, although it is, you know, kind of little kiddish, it has better aspects than Dino Land. I was going to say, is Pixar, when it comes to Pixar Pier, though, is Pixar Pier thriving or is it? like ghost land like dino land because you walk through dino land and it's like this is sad i would definitely say pixar pier is more thriving but i wouldn't i wouldn't call it like main street usa like it's not like it's not like so popular because as kelly was talking about the incredible coaster it like it is kind of tucked back like you get into California Adventure and you like have Avengers Campus and Cars Land and like everything's kind of like right there. And then you have to kind of go and find mm-hmm. where Pixar Pier is. Um, and so it okay. is kind of like off into the side. So maybe not as many people go over there unless you like really know what you're looking for and like, oh, I really want to ride the Ferris wheel. I really want to ride. Like, mm-hmm. and so, and that's really weird, especially if you've never been to Disneyland because all the pictures that you see are in front of the ferris wheel at california adventure and so um it's not like the focal point when you walk into the park um and so i think that's like a little bit misleading but like that's you know that's not a huge deal um but i think dino land as a whole if you if you are comparing the two which kylie said she wanted to compare the two dino land has a good theme across the whole area like it's like This is like all dinosaur. Um, But Pixar Pier, like, technically has a theme because it's like, we have anything Pixar. Pixar, Yeah. But it's like, Inside Us over here, Incredibles right here, and then like, Toys right here. Like, it's just like throw up Pixar, which like is fine, but it's just not like, not like together like Dino Land is. Okay. I, I see your point. And I will say, I think the carnival style games at both of them are not a fan favorite i don't think people really go there specifically to do those absolutely 
Disneyland's quality of rides that they have in those areas is way better than Dino Land because Dino Land just shut down Primeval World forever because everyone which is so it. sad they because that ride was fantastic. They no. just like had some people die or something. It's no, that I went ride on it was once not it. and I thought that I like burst a kidney or something. I was not okay. <laughs> okay, <laughs> what Primeval World did you ride on? Because I wanted that version. <laughs> I'd almost died. Almost busting kidneys on that ride. No, Kylie, was I, was I like, with you? <laughs> was I with you when we rode it? I don't even remember. I think I blacked out for part of it. I, <laughs> I was with a group of people. I don't remember who I was with, but it kind of felt like mouse trap. Have you ever yeah. done the mouse trap? Um, yeah. roller coaster at like a fair or something it's, that's kind of what it is that because pixar pier has one called goofy sky school and it's literally like a, a mousetrap ride <laughs> yeah i didn't ride that i wish yeah, i did exactly. because it's like um but, world it yeah well but it like premier world just like went back and forth and it did jerk you like i i did not enjoy the experience Okay, if that one's gone though, then all you have left is triceratops spin and dino okay pause <laughs> Kylie, we love um, Triceratops. Spin. I know, but I, I love watching you guys like beef it. it out. <laughs> I have to act like I hate it so I can argue for Pixar here. No, 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 no. We, as a collective group, you and I love <laughs> Triceratops spin, so I don't want to hear it. Um, You're, and then I'm, you have, then you have Dinosaur, which like, eh. But I think Pixar Pier just has more rides because it's also a larger area. Like it covers a larger area. There's more yeah. space there. Um, so you can't really like compare that. I mean, whatever, yes, we but can, we can compare them. you can compare the carnival games and like the carnival aspect of it, but you can't like, well, if, if they were to be compared for some weird reason, like on a podcast or something, um, Pixar Pier would win. <laughs> <laughs> <That's all right. laughs> okay. Okay. That's fine. Another point for Disneyland. I, I was am- going to say, I'll, I'll give it to Pixar Pier because Dino Land does get kind of blown. Like everybody, like the whole, the dinosaur ride like i don't know it gives me a headache it's, and then primeval world that wasn't it triceratops, triceratops spin that, wasn't that it. ride is it okay i just have to no. share the story of me and gray going on that we got on and we oh no uh what's that song called breaking free from high school musical was playing over the loudspeakers and we at sang, the, it was at the chip and dale dance party like yes. diner dance party whatever we yeah. sang our little hearts out we were soaring through the air in a triceratops singing that song literally was, soaring flying. it was magical it was magical so- um, I don't want to get it was that. fantastic the cast members loved it Chip and Dale were like pointing at us they were like get it girl like it was it was a good time and then we got hired full time as actors at Disney and it's true okay. and we can't tell you that we actually work there but we do it's a secret so. surprise anyways <laughs> wow, you on. really held that one in <laughs> <laughs> it's fine it's fine okay so now that we have three points for Disneyland I would like to roast you again on a walk Water ride because we have not talked about water rides. Wait, yet. we can talk about water rides all day long because I think I told you about my Splash Mountain experience. Oh yeah, last we can talk about water ride. <laughs> well, but another water fine. ride, and that is Cali River Rapids in Animal Kingdom versus Grizzly River Run in California Adventure. All right, I'll give you the first the first um, word on this one. Of course, okay. you will. Your um, serve here. Here's my word on this. I. I'm not a huge fan of Cali River Rapids. Um, if you have listened to our Jeff and I's podcast episode with Lauren about Animal Kingdom, we talk about the stupid guns that people shoot at you with water and you hate children and all this fun stuff. Anyway. Yeah, Lauren um, attacking children. Go check yeah, it out. Yeah, Lauren attack children. It's fun. Um, you should go back and listen. You should go back and listen to that episode. But um, oh, Lauren. so this is like kind of a hard thing to pull for. But the biggest thing I will say is i've never ridden grizzly river run the line was a lie it said it was a five minute wait and it was not a five minute wait when i was there um so first of all that's a lie you don't lie about your wait times disney unless it's a shorter wait time than it's supposed to be freaking no, disney always lies yeah but they disney should lie. lie lie in the positive not lie in the negative <laughs> um, the positive that the 90 minute wait is more like a 70 minute wait <laughs> <laughs> well, right, but that's that's lying in a positive. Whereas when I was in line for Grizzly River Run, they said five minutes and it was more than 15. So I left the line um, mm. because I wanted to go somewhere else. Um, I, I just, had like, I just never wrote it because I didn't want to get wet. Well, Loser. Um, 
I got screwed anyway, so over that's, on Splash that's, Mountain. That's my side of Cali River Rapids. I like it better because I've actually ridden it. And there you go. I, I will say they are like so similar. I feel like those raft rides are always pretty much the same concept. Like there's an area where you get sprayed by random people on the side who decide to pay to like torment you on a ride, which is weird. <laughs> um, <laughs> but I, I think what puts Grizzly River Run a little ahead of Cali River Rapids is aesthetically like the ride is so cool looking because that area of the park is themed like national parks and it has this really cool rock structure that looks like a grizzly bear and it's huge and i just think it's i think i took a picture in front of that exactly that makes it better it's it's so because i took a picture in front of it and i feel (laughs) (laughs) i feel well calm down like tucked in the back it doesn't really look like anything and you just kind of i feel like you just kind of fall upon it and you're like oh there's a ride here but you yeah, know I do get that. Run is there. <laughs> okay, okay. So we're at okay. What is it? Three points Disneyland right now. Oh, that's four. Good try. Four points. Okay, yeah. it's fine. We have an entire other episode that Disney World won, but <laughs> the next topic that we're gonna talk about, <laughs> you're gonna lose. And before people yeah. say this, um, people are gonna say it's not actually comparable. Um, people are gonna say that they're not even close to being similar, and that's the truth. Too bad we're comparing. But it. The point of this podcast episode is that we're comparing them. So here we are. Yeah. Um, Get over it. Buckle up. Next on Kylie's list, yes, I took charge. Is <laughs> Matterhorn at Disneyland versus Everest at Disney World? Um, Kylie, I would like you oh. to begin this one. I hate that I'm gonna do this, but like, there's no way I can. There's no way I can make Disneyland win in this case. I, 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 I World Disney World I, Expedition Everest is my, my most favorite ride in the whole entire world. I I do love the Matterhorn, but like, it's nothing compared to Everest, and I I honestly can't argue it. But I think Jeff has a different opinion, so I would love to hear that. I do, yeah. I prefer Matterhorn, actually. Like, Expedition Everest is cool when it first came out. Like, what, 2008? Hate me if I'm wrong, but I think it's 2008. And I loved it because that's when the Yeti actually worked and it didn't hurt the structure or anything like that. Now the Yeti just sits there. They are refurbishing it. They're not fixing the Yeti, though. What? Yep. They would have to take the... So one of my friends, she told me that they're going to have to take the top off of the mountain... To take the out, fix it, put it back in, then put the mountain back. I'm like, yeah, that's too much work. Disney's not going to do that. So I think if anything, I don't know. I heard it's going down for a really long refurb, like coming I mean, up soon. I hope that they fix the Yeti because that would change my opinion probably. But as of right now, I've heard that they're not fixing the Yeti. However, Stupid. Matterhorn got a refurb not too long ago, right? Yeah, they. I think it was a couple years ago. They. Okay, well, let me tell you, if Matterhorn got a refurb, I'm glad it did because that dang ride shut down when I was on it. We waited 35 (laughs) minutes. We get on the ride. We're like so excited. We're like, this is the last ride that we really want to ride. And we get on it and we get to the to the uh, like uphill, the climb hill. And right as the first part of the thing like starts going up, it stops. It just stops. (laughs) And... I understand rides break down like that's not anything against Matterhorn like Everest breaks down all the time like Rise of the Resistance which is like a brand new ride breaks down more often than not so it's just like that's not anything against that I can tell you right now if you don't want to ride any Disney ride with with it breaking down don't ever ride with a barber don't ever ride with Kylie (laughs) Mackie Dan Julie every ride I rode with them I, I think out of the four or five rides I think two or three of them broke down yeah, me and Jeff um, recently were in Disney World together, and he got to hang out with the coolest family in the whole world, the coolest Disney family, and somehow we're cursed with rides breaking down, and I really don't get it, but it makes it exciting. I mean, we had a- Okay, but here's the thing. I got on Matterhorn, and it was, like, the only ride I wanted to ride, and we, like, got on it, and just to, like, first of all, this is a really funny story. Okay, so- <laughs> There's three three people to each like little car. So six people can in it. There were four of us and there was a couple that was sitting like in the front part of it. And <laughs> they had been on like every ride and every single ride had broke down the whole day. Oh, no. And the 
girl the lady was from canada i really hope she's listening right now because shout out you you made this experience so much better like it just made our our night um anyway she um she was dating this guy he was from the area she's from canada and this is the first time that she's ever been to disneyland like all this stuff she was so mad she was like, I hate Mickey Mouse. I hate Walt Disney. Why did he even create this place if it's not going to work? Like, she complained the whole time. Whoa. <laughs> and, like, it was just funny to us because, like, well, you can't do, like, it's not their fault. Like, things break yeah, down. What, Sorry, yeah, lady, you that do? you got the bad luck. But, it like, it was just really, really funny um, that she was going through all this. The only bad part was we sat, and I'm, like, this is not an exaggeration at all. We sat on that ride for upwards of 30 minutes waiting for them to come get us out. The evac, you guys, and, yeah, that sucks. And like everyone else was off the ride. Like you could tell, like people had walked past us. There were people behind us that were just like, Duh. and I think they were like counting carts and we were like, hello, hello. And they were like, oh, we need to go get these people out of here. Like we, it was awful. <laughs> we just sat there. But see what and, I do. Go ahead, Gray. Sorry. And we I'm like switching. I just I just feel like we lost a lot of time mm-hmm. yeah. in the park. Like like that ride went down, and I understand it takes a little bit longer to like get you off the ride, but it just took so long that like we could have written two or three other rides because like it wasn't super busy. Like we could yeah. have done a bunch of other things, and we just didn't get the chance to. Um, I get, that. and so that was kind of disappointing. So yeah, see, but I also feel like with Matterhorn though, maybe Mount Everest can. <laughs> Can start doing it one day with the Expedition refurbs and everything. Everest, Jeff, not Mount Everest. Mount Everest. It's it's the Mount. Do you Everest. even host a Disney podcast? Come on. No, yeah, that's yeah. I host Kylie's podcast. It. <laughs> yes. I can be. I can be incorrect on this episode. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. But, sorry. Continue. But however, like with Matterhorn, I do like how they had like the mountain climbers and and all that. Like it was like real cool. I remember seeing that and I was like, okay, like this is better than Expedition Evers. That and, is cool. Oh, I was just going to say really quick. One thing I do really like about Matterhorn is the music in the queue. It's like the yodelers. I think it's so fun. It just gets you super hyped for the ride. I, I listen to that like on a daily basis. It's amazing. <laughs> but the queue line itself is yeah. better at, 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 for, at Everest yeah. in Walt Disney World. So, oh, yeah. absolutely. Point Let's Florida. See. I will give that point to Florida because which never is my life. Anyways, <laughs> what should we talk about next, guys? Well, Kylie, since you're the host, you're supposed to tell us. Well, yeah. okay, no asking I, I can't me, so... be incorrect again. <laughs> okay, fine. I will move on to the next topic. And that is one that I, ha- I think I can argue pretty well. And that's weather at both of the parks. Not anything specific, but just in general where the parks are built. I think... Okay. Southern California is perfect for it because Florida rains all the time and like yeah you get used to the rain whatever but Disneyland like I've been so many times and I've never had to deal with well maybe like once or twice I've had to deal with some kind of rain or like bad weather it gets a little cold in the winter but it's usually just like sunny and nice all the time and it's really perfect for going to an amusement park and they don't have to make the rides like all covered and they can look really pretty like it's a small world's a big pretty ride instead of being like inside of a building so i just think that the weather in southern california is way better that's not like i was gonna say i'm letting gray go first that's not like the fault of like where they chose like that's not like oh i know let's build a park in the middle of new mexico because it doesn't <laughs> rain there like no one actually like that wasn't really like part of it um so that's kind of like a point a hard point to argue but also first of all your point it's a small world is only outdoors right there at the beginning it's like it's a big beautifully <laughs> outside no it's no it's not it's only no, no no it okay it is pretty fine but only the <laughs> loading only like the loading area is pretty like the rest of it is like not uh, it is pretty. I take that back. It's it is very pretty on the inside as well. But like that's the only part that's outside. So you can be like, it's this big, beautiful outdoor ride because like it's not. The whole thing is inside. But if you're looking at the ride, wouldn't you rather go on a big, pretty ride like walking up to it than in Disney World where it's like tucked into a weird building? <laughs> I think it looks the same, but that's for a different day. Oh. Um, <laughs> um, but I. 
I disagree with the fact that they're like just because the rides are open or just because a ride is in a building it can't be pretty like the teacups don't have a roof at Disneyland because it never rains but in Disney World there's a roof because it rains but whatever that's fine like that's still a fun like outdoor thing um it's like there's just more to that so the the queue lines and the rides have to be indoors but mo- like a bunch of the rides are indoors anyway and the rides that are outdoors would be outdoors any like test track versus um radiator springs racers like though like there's a little bit more outdoor area radiator springs racers but test track still has like that outdoor piece to it like those rides are going to be outdoors anyway mm-hmm. so yeah but see the it point, rain does not like- when, when i think about weather though when it comes to disneyland and, and, and disney world I'm not thinking about being on the rides necessarily. Like I'm always mm-hmm. thinking about just like walking to and from rides or like yeah. going from shows. And I mean, I can't say the actual words, so I'll just kind of like mix it together. But like Florida kills you with swampus. Okay. Like yeah. it's brutal. Like I don't care who you are. If you're a human, you're going to deal with swampus at one point in your life at Disney World when it's not that two week or three week span of 30 to 40 degrees. But California is great. 70 degrees. You weren't sweating your butt off. And it was comfortable throughout the whole day. And then you'd put a light jacket on. When did you go? Because I feel like in the summer, it's hot. In California? Yeah. I know. I God, I don't remember exactly when. Like, I, I want to say I, I will say springtime. I will say Florida is like humid. And California is a dry heat. But <laughs> and I, like, gonna- I feel like it still gets hot. I was going to make that point, though. I feel like when it's hot and dry, it's, like, kind of tolerable. But in Florida, I remember when I first moved there for my program, I have never sweat so bad in my life. I moved in the middle of August, and have it, having it be hot and humid, like, I was just wet all the time because I was so yeah, sweaty, it was, and it, it was, was just, brutal. like, stuck to me. <laughs> but see, that's the problem, is you guys are just from dry areas. That's true. Yeah. Okay, that's all. Like, <laughs> I'm from North Carolina where it's also hot and humid. So like I'm used to walking out, outside and immediately sweating. So like you just have to get over it. <laughs> like, I was going to say like I just felt like I don't know with Kylie bringing up the whole program thing. I just remember like meeting new people and I just remember sweating really bad. It took about a month and a half. Yeah. For Jeff me to didn't make any friends for a month and a half because he was so sweaty all the time. Yeah, they thought I was nervous yeah. or something. But you, I just like can't. I almost wanted to like introduce myself as like, "Hi, I don't normally look like this." My name is Jeff. <laughs> no, you like, you like can't you can't physically wear anything that like looks nice. Like if you're wearing anything other than a t-shirt and shorts, like you're gonna be disgusting because you're gonna sweat through it. But, like yeah. that's why so many people have such a large collection of t-shirts around this area um because like that's all you could wear in the summer that's all you could wear when it's hot because you're just so gross um, yeah florida florida was so. brutal with that though like you'd walk into yeah. work and, and i'd walk inside and my coworkers would be like is it raining outside I'd be like no i was just i was just walking into work yeah i'm just walking outside is, has yeah. it been busy <laughs> yeah um but i will say one thing that you get in california which is kind of cool um, because of the weather is you get to see different costumes for like, especially the princes and princesses because they wear like thicker coats or like over jackets or blanket things. Um, and it's, you kind of get to see the characters in something that's not necessarily directly from their movie. Mm-hmm. Whereas because it is so hot and humid in Florida, all the care or not all of them, most of the character meet and greets are indoors. And so it doesn't matter what the temperature is like, they're going to wear what they're wearing. Um, and so that is kind of cool that you get to see a different variation from like different things. Yeah. Cause I guess really like in Florida, the only time that you see like a different variation is during like a parade or like a, a Christmas specific show or. Yeah. Yeah. But then they're just wearing like, like Christmas it, outfits. But like, if you like choose a princess, Kylie. Um, Rapunzel from Tangled, my favorite movie. Okay. Ever. So like, <laughs> In Flo- she was waiting for that her whole twenty years. Florida, he's gonna be wearing sense. like, sh- like Rapunzel wears that like purple dress thing and like has her hair. But when it's colder in California, it's like a bigger dress, and then she has like this like purple over blanket thing. Um, and so like it just it's like a different variation, and it's like oh, these princesses also live in the real world where weather changes, and it's not just they wear the exact same outfit every single day of their entire lives. Um, and so like you get to see a little bit more of a variation, which I think is really cool. 
I, I really like that too. I'm, I mean, I'm not a big character person. They scare the crap out of me and they make me feel really awkward. But <laughs> when I do interact with them in some way, I, I like seeing the different looks. However, yeah. I think that, isn't there an area in Disney World where there's like the princess meet and greet where there's like five of them in a room or something? Yes. Am I wrong? I think no, that's you're right. cool. Like, I think that's a cool concept. So I will give that to Florida. Like, it's cool to have like a room where you can go meet all the princesses. Like, that's so exciting to have. This yeah. Room and you're like, oh my gosh, they're all here. This is cool. Yeah. But the only thing, see, this is this is the only part. Characters is the only part that Kylie and I are going to switch parts for <laughs> because Kylie doesn't like characters, and I'm all about characters. Um, but in Disneyland, you get to see the characters walking around more and like interacting, whereas at Disney World they're just to the side and like you have to go and meet them and you can kind of get away from them if you want to be but it's just because of the crowds like disneyland is not a big enough park for people to be like oh i'm gonna go spend an entire week of my life there like it's just not um unless you're doing things like over and over and over again like i went for one day and i think if i was there for six more hours i could have covered every single thing in the entire park like in both disneyland and california venture like you can cover everything in a short time. So you don't have as many people like going and vacationing there, but you have people that go to California and one day will go to Disneyland. And so it's just less people, whereas Disney World is a vacation resort. And so because of the crowds, you can't have the characters walking around and interacting with the um, guests because it's just, it's like too much. There's too many people and the, it would cause a crazy brouhaha. Oh yeah, so. dude! Magic Kingdom I'm, I'm on the twenty sixth of December was brutal. Yeah, yeah. Magic Kingdom on the twenty fifth of December, I bet was even worse. But... Oh yeah, I purposely missed that. But on the twenty sixth, yeah. I was just like, "Go home." Yeah. <laughs> I do have one argument for a cool character thing in Disneyland. I wasn't there, but I follow a bunch of Disney accounts, and they're posting about it. Um, during the Halloween event in California Adventure, they bring out like kind of rare characters that you don't usually see and they had mm-hmm. Sid from Toy Story there that is so really? cool yeah, yeah and people were saying it was amazing like that it was like just such a cool character to see they also I- had um Agatha from WandaVision yes. in Avengers Campus yeah like they just had really interesting characters so I'm giving yeah. that one to Disneyland because that's amazing <laughs> I would love to talk to Sid that's a character that I would be somewhat okay with <laughs> interacting with for the one character maybe five seconds and then I get nervous <laughs> well I but no but I will say like Sid and Agatha for that matter are both face characters they're not like big costumed people mm-hmm. like they're they're actual humans um and so it's not like yeah yep. but character in- integrity like Mickey Mouse is a person like he's my dude okay <laughs> he was my boss <laughs> It was our boss at one point, guys. Uh, yeah. Don't remind me. I'm sad about it still. But, <laughs> let's go back. Let's do it tomorrow. Let's all do a college program again. Right. Now. I don't know about college I mean, program, but I can get an program. apartment with you guys gladly. Yeah, I'll go back full time if you find me a good job. Down. But yeah. Here's the thing, Kyla. You do a college program like right now. Yeah. Okay. And then. Uh, you like you get in and you like meet the people that are at the top now because so much has changed in the past two years like you need us you need to get us like who are the top people and then we'll immediately email them and be like hey i know you don't get this but we're actually the best people to ever work at disneyland or disney world and they're like oh you're right and then they just hire us and then then we can all live together and then i become ceo and then i hire you guys as like slightly lesser positions and then we just run disney in general i mean it would be great to run disney but if anyone is going to be a ceo of disney world we know it's going to be aj like that's (laughs) (laughs) true aj's fit for a ceo position a hundred percent um just put me on the design team and i'll be there i don't care yes there you go you guys can re-narrate all of the rides Soren's gonna sound the same. It's just gonna be my face. Be like, hello and welcome to Soren. My name's Jeff. <laughs> Man, bonitos. <laughs> Guys, this is great. This is so great. Yeah. Um. Anyway, I think that's pretty much all we have to talk about Disneyland versus yeah. Disney World. I think um, Disneyland won. It seems that Disneyland won this episode, part two, shorter episode. Which makes sense, um, because it's smaller. Say, and it's not. I was gonna say I didn't even keep like count. I didn't even keep a tally. I want to say that <laughs> Disney World was one, just because like part one was like an hour and a half. This one was 
I don't know. I lost track of time. I don't even think it's been an like, hour. I could be wrong. An hour? Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. So Disneyland can have like one small episode, but like Disney World the rest of it. Anyway. Um, you may agree. Trophy. You may not agree. Like, let us know. Yeah. Send us a message on our Instagram at the Goofy Scoop. Um, tell us what your thoughts are. We want to know what you think of Disneyland, Disney World. If you've never been to Disneyland, if you've never been to Disney World, this is a perfect place to start because we're giving you all the tips where to go, where not to go. <laughs> um, so... Yeah, it's, it's great. Also, quick shout out. If you're watching on our YouTube page, our YouTube channel, Kylie and I are wearing the exact same shirt. Was not done on purpose. So <laughs> here we are. Um, also, I wore my Disneyland hat today just for Kylie. So looking super Ooh, dapper. You're welcome. One point Thank for you. Disneyland. Yeah. One point for Disneyland. <laughs> <laughs> one to one. Okay. I'll tally it up and I'm gonna laugh if that one point tied it up. <laughs> yes, I get a pity point with Grace Hat. I with my hat. A pity go. point. <laughs> Come on, give me the point. <laughs> <laughs> um Anyway, Kylie, thank you so much for allowing Jeff and I to come on your show today. Thank you guys so much for making the time. I mean, you know, I just need a lot more guests like you guys. So I'm so glad you could join me. Thank you all for listening to another <laughs> episode of the Goofy Scoop. And make sure to tune in again for the next episode when I talk to someone that is a surprise that Jeff and Kylie <laughs> might be able to <laughs> tell me. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> Uri, get her off the camera. She's falling apart. Quick. Okay, someone stop the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, thank you guys for letting me on your podcast, though. Actually, I love chatting with you guys about this stuff. It's so fun. Good to reminisce. <laughs> As I said, we'll put you on here more. We definitely need to have, I mean, Miranda's definitely going to be next, but we need to have all six of us here on an episode. And that one just needs to be Yo, one episode. Oh, that, that might be, be like. A business day episode like if you work at eight it's like a nine to five that's gonna be an eight hour podcast you can listen to it all day we all have to like wear a tie and dress up yeah you go to the office we're there with you welcome to the goofy scoop it's perfect i love it uh, However, thanks for listening everybody jeff was about to say something there sorry go. i don't know where you're pointing. always point the wrong way thank god most of our listeners are on spotify <laughs> But yeah, what Gray said, what Kylie said, I'm having people close out for me. It's awesome. And uh, yeah, hope you guys will see you.